As dental laser technology has advanced, so is our ability to treat periodontal disease with the laser. Wavelength Optimized Periodontal Therapy, or WPT, is a breakthrough, minimally invasive periodontal disease treatment protocol. WPT makes optimum use of dentistry's best two wavelengths, Erbium YAG and ND YAG. WPT may be used for moderate to severe periodontal disease treatment. After completing a gross debridement of the treatment area, the ND YAG laser is used to remove the diseased epithelial lining to within one millimeter of the bottom of the pocket. While the diseased epithelial lining is being removed, the ND YAG laser energy also accomplishes biostimulation, which has been shown to increase the body's healing response by six times. Removal of the disease epithelial lining with ND YAG laser energy also serves to create room for insertion of the Erbium YAG laser tip into the pocket to assist in the next step, calculus removal. Next, we insert a specialized Erbium YAG handpiece tip with water spray into the pocket to remove calculus at subablative laser energy. The special tip utilizes photon-induced photoacoustic streaming, or PIPs, to remove the calculus and disrupt the destructive biofilm on the root surface. With the laser firing, the tip is lowered along the root surface towards the bottom of the pocket until you feel a piece of calculus on the root surface. The Erbium YAG laser energy allows you to just tap it off. Not only does this step remove calculus, it also decontaminates the root surface and removes the endotoxins that will otherwise interfere with proper healing. The Erbium YAG laser selectively removes the calculus without damaging the underlying cementum as shown in this histology of the root surface after lasing. Now we go back over the root surface very lightly with a piezo scaler using a side-to-side -side motion from the top to the bottom of the pocket just to confirm all the calculus is removed. Thorough removal of the calculus is crucial to good healing results. Next we use an endodontic explorer to confirm tactily that all the calculus has been removed. If any calculus is remaining, the Erbium YAG laser is used to remove it. The Erbium YAG laser is then used to dissect the periodontal attachment from the bottom of the pocket to the bone. This is necessary to stimulate the regenerative factors from the bone that will help with healing in the periodontal defect. An endodontic explorer is used to confirm that all soft tissue has been removed from the bone, so we get great regenerative factors coming from the bone. Next, the endodontic explorer is used to slightly perforate the cortical bone to get good angiogenesis and release the regenerative factors from the bone. Without a great blood supply, our clot cannot mature. Then, we again introduce ND YAG laser energy in the pocket to start development of the clot. We insert the tip all the way to the bottom of the pocket, then we fire the laser and draw out the tip until we see the blood start to get slightly darker. At this point, we stop lasing and start placing the collagen plug. Collagen inherently promotes homeostasis. In contact with blood, collagen is known to cause aggregation of platelets, which bind in large numbers to the collagen fibers. The aggregation platelets degranulate, releasing collagen factors that, together with plasma factors, enable the formation of the fibrin clot. The sponge structure of the absorbable collagen wound dressing provides a three-dimensional matrix for additional strengthening of the blood clot. Stabilization of the clot is mandatory for proper healing. This is where other competitive periodontal disease treatment protocols fall short. With the collagen matrix, we achieve a firm, stabilized clot. Finally, light-cured barricade or paracryl is used to protect the clot and allow it to mature. Wavelength Optimized Periodontal Therapy a breakthrough in minimally invasive periodontal disease treatment that can restore your patient's periodontal health.